What is up everybody? Everyday Angler here. Today's gonna be a pretty special video. Well, I kind of had a morning of pretty, not stressful, but pretty much what happened was today, I was gonna start off fishing this pond. It was not productive at all. And I was on my way to this creek that I'm here at today. And I stopped for some water and Red Bull at a gas station, ended up locking myself out of my car. So yeah, that was like a whole two hour ordeal. So I'm here like super late, or at least way later than I want it to be. And uh, I am actually at Mouse Creek today. Creek Fishing Adventures fishes this creek a lot. I got some uh, tips from Catfishing Chris also. I'm gonna be chasing Kusa bass today. It's so close to my house, but I've never actually caught a Kusa bass. Uh, they are supposed to be all up in this creek along with some panfish and sunfish. Got my five weight and uh oh gosh but i'm in this creek right now and i'm not sure if this is regular water level it is super shallow and clear so i think we're gonna be like hunting some fish down right i've already spooked off a couple red breasts just getting in the water so from now on that's what I think we're gonna have to do. Should be a fun day. It's like 90 something degrees out here. So I am happy to be in this water right now. Um, just not really what I was expecting, right? And you can see how, sh I mean, my nine foot rod almost reaches across the stream. So definitely gonna be a learning experience for me on the fly with this real tight cover. But other than that, it looks awesome. I love sight fishing. We're just gonna have to like sneak up on these fish. If I get a Kusa bass today, it'll be uh, pretty epic. I think I'm at the right spot. I don't really know though. I'm not too familiar with the area. I think this is Mouse Creek. Anyways, let's get this video started. Like I said, it's been a long morning for me already. So let's get the fishing. All right. So because I was gonna be chasing Kusa bass today, I didn't really bring a lot of tiny stuff. I do have some tiny stuff though. Starting off with this black and brown woolly bugger. I'm being very quiet. It is so shallow here. It's not even too, oh, there's one. It's not a Kusa bass. I already spooked him though. This is where they should be though. I think I'm finally going to get to learn how to do a roll cast today. Okay, so there are tons of hog suckers and other species of fish that I have never even seen before. I'm gonna have to downsize. I need like a four foot, very small tippet for this creek. They're very spooky. So I'm like literally sneaking on them like special forces type crap. I'm going to change my leader up and try to put on the smallest woolly booger I have or the smallest thing I have, period. So just give me a second. Fish on. What is it? Oh, 
Are you kidding me, dude? Well, I shouldn't be upset. There's just so many more species in here. It's just a little bluegill, though. Well, you know what? Thanks for breaking the skunk, buddy. And that spooked every fish in that hole out of there. Fish on. Ooh, green sunfish. Beautiful little green sunfish. All right, let's give this guy a proper release. Green sunfish and a bluegill. Ah, oh, he's gone. It's fine, I'm sure we'll get some more. Hey, Ma, what's up? Como va, mi amor? Estamos viendo tu video que está, está buenísimo, el de hoy. Oh, yeah? I know, I know. Están lindos los pescados que pescaste. Yeah, I'm fishing right now. That's the only reason I hung up. Oh, está bien. Oh, no, 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 está bien. Está bien, Juli. Nada más queríamos saber. Papá, te quería preguntar. ¿El último pescado que cogiste lo cogiste con la cañita que él te mandó o con la del de la, muchacho que estaba ahí? The guys, only the first oh, the fish I caught with, because he was using bait. Oh, okay, okay. Sí, estaba buenísimo. No, yeah. tranquilo, pues, Julia. Ahí hablamos después que pesques. Anda solo. Yeah. Con cuidado, please, okay? Okay, te quiero. Te quiero, mi amor. Nos hablamos. Bye. Aquí ya más más tarde. Okay, bye. ¿Qué es eso, Juli? What? Fireworks. Mama, no, I'm fishing. I'm like, I'm, I'm literally like waist deep in water right now. Oh, okay. Pa, pues, no hablamos. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Okay. Uh, two fish so far. A green sunfish and a bluegill. I've seen one coosa bass, or at least what I think is a coosa bass. One like huge sucker, hog sucker, but, or Alabama, I don't know what species it is. It's a sucker though. They're not taking anything I throw at them. Um, this is very shallow, lots of chubs and stuff. I know there's lots of panfish in here. We're about to go to this waterfall though. That looks like it gets pretty deep, so hoping to be able to cast right there. Is it is a challenge with the fly rod, let me tell you. It makes me want to get like one of those seven foot three weights or something, because I mean just look at the cover here. I got a nine foot rod. But I'm not giving up. Um, I'm sorry about the releases. One of them got away, the other one is the bluegill, but I'm going to try to do a nicer release for the next fish I catch. Stay tuned, people. I think another big thing is too, like, an area like this, before I walk through it to the waterfall, I'm going to fish it. I don't think this creek is usually... this shallow I think I just found where this creek opens up the small creek that I was fishing is running through here and another small creek is running through here one more fish is all I want fish on. Is that a new species? 
Oh my goodness. Jumbo Shiner. God dang, dude. All right. Let's release this guy. No. What the heck? Hmm, new dog toy. I'll stick around for another hour, huh? I like jumbo chubs, but I'm guessing I'm I'm kind of learning about this creek more like the parking and all that so I can get to the more productive areas quicker. Well, everybody, it is about time for me to be heading back. Um, I know this is going to be a shorter video. I had a really rough day in the beginning of the day. I got skunked out of pond and, you know, locked myself out of my car and all that. So I'm going to hit a couple spots on the way back. I might just take the trail back instead of waiting back. But uh, as you're watching this right now, I'm actually on vacation in Florida, saltwater fishing at the beach for the first time. So hopefully that goes good. If you don't see a saltwater video soon, then you know it didn't go so good. But just wish me luck, everybody. It's going to be the first time fly fishing in salt water i think i'm just gonna go to the beach but just wish me luck with that hopefully we got a salt water fly fishing video for y'all this creek is uh not really what i expected i guess i expected a bigger deeper creek to hold coosa bass in i might not be at the right spot i don't know i just kind of go went by word of mouth with some guys but still caught some fish today still had a successful day on the fly thank you for watching everybody don't forget to like share and subscribe and stay tuned for next week's episode of the everyday end. Much, much, much later. Fish on. What is that? Oh my goodness. Look at this red breast. It's a big boy. Come here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Absolutely beautiful fish. <laughs> Look at this fish. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Take one more picture of him. If he flaps off, it's okay. All right, we'll get you guys a cool release too. He's pretty calm right now.